Hello and welcome back to the e-learning series on BSF Bio Waste Processing. This module in the chapter of BSFL Post Processing will focus on microwave drying BSF larvae. After watching this module, you'll, you will be able to describe the product quality of microwave dried BSF larvae. You will understand the mass balance of drying BSF larvae in a microwave. Then you will also be able to apply the step-by-step -step process of microwave drying BSF larvae. You will recognize process control parameters and apply the procedures for data collections. Finally, you will be able to identify pros and cons for drying BSF larvae using a microwave. Microwave heating is an efficient and fast drying process. We also call the microwave dried larvae pop larvae. Similar to popcorn, you will hear the larvae popping. This is because the water inside the larvae evaporates quickly which causes the outer shell of the larvae to puff. This puff shape and the crispy texture is characteristic for the pop larvae and this makes them especially attractive for customers. Pop larvae are crispy and puffed, but what is in it? Dried larvae mainly consist of protein and fat, each can account of around 30 to 40 percent. In smaller amounts you also have fibers, ash and carbohydrates. Dried larvae have a low moisture content of around 3% and a water activity of 0.4. Therefore, microwave dried larvae become storable and have a shelf life of around 5 to 6 months if stored in a moisture-tight package. A water activity below 0.4 prevents any bacteria or molds from growing. So here you see again the mass balance of drying BSFL. With using a microwave, you will need electricity of around 1000 Watt per hour. And while you're drying, steam will come out of the microwave. The batch size is 250 grams and each batch will take 15 minutes to dry. The larvae will have a maximum temperature of 180 degrees. For microwave drying, you need the following equipment. You need a microwave. In this video, we use a simple kitchen microwave with a volume of 32 liters. Then you need a microwave safe plate, ceramic or glass, glass are good materials. Do not use aluminum or plastic plates. Then you also need oven glove, a bulk balance, a flipping spoon and a storage container. Weigh 250 grams of sanitized larvae. Then add sanitized larvae on the ceramic microwave safe plate and distribute the larvae evenly. Place the plate into the microwave and start it for a first cycle of five minutes at highest power, which should be around 1000 Watt. Open the microwave for 30 seconds and let the steam escape. Too much steam in the microwave can cause damp and moist larvae and also drying takes longer if you do not let the steam out. Then restart the microwave for cycle 2, again 5 minutes. Then reopen the microwave again for 30 seconds and let the steam escape. Then finally restart the microwave for a third and last cycle of 5 minutes. During the last cycle you will hear the typical popping sound. Then open the microwave and check if the product quality matches the two indicators. Indicator 1 is that the larvae have a puffed shape. And indicator 2 is that the larvae are crispy and dry. When you crush the larvae with your fingers, they will easily break apart into fine crumbles. If these indicators are not true and your larvae are still moist or damp, just restart the microwave for an additional cycle of 2 or 3 minutes. When both indicators are true, remove the larvae from the microwave. Weigh the dried larvae and note the weight down on the log sheet. Then let the pop larvae cool down and store them in a closed big container. In the end of the day, label the container with the production date. Only pack the pop larvae into small packages when they are completely cooled down. This is the log sheet for drying. Here you can fill in 
each weight of larvae going in the microwave and coming out of the microwave. Also note down the total drying time you needed for each batch. In the end of the activity, sum up the total mass in and out. These two numbers are needed to calculate the yield, which is a process control parameter. As a reminder, the yield is calculated by dividing the total mass out through total mass in times 100. Your process seems okay if you get a yield of 25 to 35%. If you have higher numbers, this means you probably didn't completely dry the larvae. And if you have lower numbers, maybe you lost some material. So now you've learned about microwave drying BSFL. Advantages of this method are the low investment cost, the very good product quality and its simple and efficient process. Downsides are the small batch size, which make it a very labor intensive process. Also, you need electricity and this further increases the operational costs. We already come to the end of this module on microwave drying. To check your learning, we have two questions for you. Question one, you forgot to dry in cycles. What are the consequences? The answer is your larvae will take longer to dry and the texture will be less crunchy. Now question two. You calculated a yield of 45% after drying your larvae. What do you do? Such a high yield means your larvae are not completely dry yet. So you add the larvae again to the microwave for a few minutes. Now we're already at the end of this module. We saw that pop larvae have a crispy and puffed shape and mainly consist of protein and fat. We also saw that drying results in a mass reduction of 70%. Drying with a kitchen microwave is a short and simple but labor intensive process. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the forward project by EWAC in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.